Only two teams in the Academy League have gone six or more weeks in a row with a win streak. The Pirates want to become the third team to do that. The Bears are coming off of a two-week losing streak. Can the Bears stop the Pirates? Can the Pirates become the third team to do it? We've got Pirates v. Bears. Bears can't swim, and Pirates haven't seen anything that's not a fish. But I need some help. I asked him to help me uh, learn the alphabet, and he's teaching me from Z to B. I think I'm going to have some triple talking today. ZB, how you doing? <laughs> I'm doing tremendously well. I don't know how to answer to that. That might be the greatest <laughs> introduction in MLE, maybe in all of Twitch history. I am certainly excited for this welcome, Rocket League matchup. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I am too. This should be really good. I'm excited to see if the Pirates can indeed get six in a row. There are only two teams who have done more. The Flames, who are undefeated. And I literally just looked up the other team to verify I had my stats correct. I forget who it was. They had had exactly six in a row. So a big feat, and can the Pirates do it? Right now, we've got the Pirates in gray and the Bears in blue. Never seen a blue bear. Uh, you, you, sure just haven't, it, it, you, you haven't explored uh, as much as you should. Touche, ZB, considering I never leave my house, that is probably true. And there could be two blue bears outside, but Kenneth Tubapa says, I don't care about your blue bears. We're up one to nothing. <laughs> Maybe your blue bottles of Balls Garana, because that was a great <laughs> shot there. There the is Pirates a segue. Getting, the Pirates <laughs> getting on the board early. In the previous game, if you were watching the stream, and I knew you were, you got a preview of this division. This division was tight going into the game. Very much so. This is a division was only separated by two wins top to bottom. The Bears are on top, the Pirates right behind them, both teams fighting to get into the playoffs. Absolutely, and I have played against Miller Ball before. He can be tough when he is on, and uh, his ability to 50-50 is excellent, so we'll see if that comes into play. Brokarian of the House Brokar is going to come up and say no. Retro Devil, who is much cooler than your uh, modern hipster devils, is going to come back and try and keep it up there, but they failed to do so until Rokarian sacrifices himself to corner that one. And Retro but Devil gives. living up to his name with the Retro Wheels, in fact. Shot right Ooh. off the post, but here comes Papa. Oh. Buries it far post. What a shot. What is your Papa? My Papa is a goal. <laughs> and Kinnis to Papa is going to come up and get that one. My dad uh, watching this stream. Hi, Dad. <laughs> My dad is not, but we won't talk about that. It would make me sad. Hi, ZB's dad. Tell him to teach me alphabets correctly. I want to be hooked on phonics just like all the other kids. Miller Ball's gonna, wow, what a clear from Miller Ball. Excellent clear off the wall. Coming up to keep that one going the other way. He's gonna pass it mid. Kenneth to Papa. Forgot the ball. And this one's gonna go back the other way. We are. Still waiting for the Bears to do something. They've been on the Pirates' side quite a bit, but haven't capitalized even right there. Brokarian going just wide. The uh, observant viewer in the chat will notice that there was a lot of havoc in the goal there. I think it was Retro Devil, or it might have been Brokarian. I'm not entirely sure, but I do know that this is Ooh. Papa getting another goal, his third of the game. Shooting 75%, three for four. Quick math. Uh, Pirates, yeah, quick maths. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, uh, <clears throat> Lee Algebra Cow taught me math better than you have taught me uh, English. Uh, <laughs> Kenneth Stupapa and Miller Ball combining for five shots. The Bears have zero of anything Ooh. across the board. They are just over 100 points combined just at 118. Just getting warmed up, shaking it off. And like, they've been on this side. They just aren't doing anything, anything on the offensive side. Now, Kinnis Tupapa is going to try and put that one on. He's going to go way wide now, and Brokarian's going to have to carry it, uh, clear it out. They are going to have a chance here. That ball is up. What a touch by Retro Devil. Papa getting the touch as well to clear this away. So the Bears are getting scoring opportunities. Here's another one for them as this ball 
floats high. They're just not quite able to retreat. So pirates have been able to dominate oh. as of lately, but I would expect the bears to be able to turn this around soon and finally oh. capitalize. And Kenneth Stapapa has to come up and make that save, but the bears weren't there to hit a ball that was in the middle of the field still for about 10 seconds. Uh, I, I don't know where they were. Uh, they must have been hibernating. Uh, oh that is the problem when you are a bear trying to play a winter sport. Um, but now the pirates, again, just they don't seem to mind that they're on their half. And uh, you weren't here for it, but Kigabyte and I had this same thing with Express earlier against the Knights, where the Express were fine on their side if it was in the defensive because they would just clear it out. Uh, you are mistaken. I am always here, Schwab. Oh, you are always here. And by the way, uh, I love that someone in chat says, Papa Zeebie. Absolutely. Shout out to Papa Zeebs. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's clearly my favorite Papa now. Oh, now Whoa. the Bears are going to score. What a shot over the Pirates to bring them within two with a minute yes, four. Yes, acrobatic. That was very impressive. Retro Devil getting the cheeky pinch on the wall there. The curvature of the wall, he used it in his favor. And then Brocarian doing bro type things and putting that ball into the net. So and carrying the bears. The yes. <laughs> and now Bro is carrying the ball out of the corner, but he doesn't make it. Papa's coming up. Papa's got a brand new bag, and it's a ball that's going to fall middle. Miller ball keeps this mid. Oh. He's got plenty of time. Ooh. What is that? That, that is, is a new flash. That, I haven't seen that one yet. Big splash. Uh, Miller ball, I know he's been watching the RLCS this weekend. Oh, that's, that's an how RLCS. You acquire, that's how you wow. acquire that. So uh, check out uh, them. Can we clip week. that one for play of the week? Just the only <laughs> goal explosion that isn't a dabbing reaper? We might say you are in the splash zone. <laughs> oh, we might. He's playing Miller ball in the, uh, in the pool there. Uh, which, of course, the lifeguards will stop him if he gets too rowdy. Pop is going to come up, try and put this the other way. Of course, Pirates looking like they're going to clear this one out easily, even though Pirates sends this one, or uh, sorry, Papa sends that one way wide. Retro Drevel trying to just kind of keep some momentum going. The Bears now just looking mentally to think about next game and see can they get another goal before it happens. This one's going to be mid right. Pop is going to keep it on the right hand side. He's going to put it up. Brokarian again has a chance. He's going to put it mid. Brokarian follows his own shot. Where did he even come from? He has got a portal gun, and he has made his own shot. <laughs> he certainly has, seemingly coming out of nowhere. Pixel perfect touch on that front of that beautiful, beautiful car. So Bears probably not going to be able to win this one, but they got some momentum late that will certainly help them as they go into game two. They do. They went from zero of absolutely anything to four shots on net, two of them hitting a save and a assist, which still wasn't enough, but it at least started. And I want to say they, when did I say they had zero of anything? It was about two minutes in. Right. So if they can keep that momentum, I feel like they figured out what to do. So what do the pirates need to do to stop the bears a new attack? You know, I would recommend the Bears just keep playing their game. What they did has worked for them. Yes, the Bears were able to get some goals late, but if Pirates just continue, you know, to be unrule, uh, unruly is what I was looking for there. As Pirates do, uh, they should continue to find success. Getting seven shots, if you can outshoot your opponents by nearly double, you are often going to find a lot of success. But the thing that will come back to haunt them early the Bears had scoring chances. They just weren't able to convert, so they just need to shore up their defense a little bit and keep doing what they're doing, and they'll find themselves on the top of this uh, top of this series. That's excellent. So now, um, Aziz, let me ask you, uh, not being quite as knowledgeable of the higher end of the game sure. uh, as you are, oh, wow. is it true wow. that if the Bears ask the Pirates for parlay, the Pirates automatically have to forfeit? Um. You know, we're going to have to ask a historian uh, for that one. Ooh. I need to get out some uh, literature. Are there any uh, MLE historians? <laughs> We've got the Charmed Girls on call to get the book out and realize it's the power of three that helps, which doesn't really help an MLE. <laughs> oh, they're not joining. <laughs> 
The team's not having as much fun as we are, apparently. They're not excited to get going. There they go. They're going to join now. Zeebs and I just going to 1v1 after this match is over. So oh, show sure match. That. Yeah, that's what <laughs> show match. For. Yeah, Bears getting what a off, start. Yeah, getting off where they left off uh, in uh, the end of game one. Here we are in game two. Uh, Miller Ball trying to get that ball away, but not able to. So you mentioned the Bear, the Pirates might have to change their strategy here if they're going to stop uh, what the Bears were doing late in game one. And you may have been right. Absolutely. And right now the Bears are just continuing this attack. Papa is going to come up and try and clear it out. He's doing a good job so far. Gets past one defender. Almost gets past Retro Devil. Just misses. Miller Ball is going to miss that one. That's going to cost. Retro Devil has a teammate on his right. Oh. And time to hit it. Retro Devil is oh. just going to dribble around both of them. He forgot the hole is about 10 feet to the right of that, though. Bro, Bro is going to come up and finish it off. And what a play from the Bears. Schwa, 200 IQ play. He was setting up his teammate. Sometimes the defense focuses so much on the ball carrier. Uh, Retro Devil put that one off the back wall straight to Brogarian. Bears very smart there on that play. Absolutely. And if you're not subscribed, if you're not following MLE, you should be. Ooh. And remember, you can hit any one of these amazing plays up on Twitter. Uh, clip it and throw it on Twitter for play of the week. Hashtag MLE POTW, which what a little dribble flick from Miller to get control and put that one. Splashdown. Yeah, in the pregame chat, everyone uh, in the chat was talking up Miller Ball saying that he might be able to, uh, you know, do this single handedly. And he's showing what he's capable of there with a great flick and the splashdown for the exclamation point. Pop is going to have to backtrack on this one big time. Really good touch there. He is, and as I said, he really is great. Uh, Miller really is great at 50-50. <clears throat> he, need, he needs to get one-on-one -on -one a little more often. Right now, he's just kind of been throwing the ball on the other side, which I would kind of mm -hmm. say is part of the Pirates' problem in general. They're not possessing the ball as much as trying to clear it, um, and that's giving the Bears plenty of oh. time. This one, the Bears. Retro Devil coming up to save that one. Now he's going to clear it. This is going to be on, but Miller Ball is going to get back around it. Miller Ball going to get a chance to dribble Ooh. again. He's going to put it up, and that one's in as well. The Pirates have tied it up 2-2. Two two. Really good. Before we get to that flick, I'm glad you mentioned it. It does seem like the Pirates at times just throwing the ball at the net, not giving themselves great opportunities. Both of their goals so far have been on Miller, just getting the ball solo in front of the goal and beating a defender. So perhaps if they can maintain possession, Miller, can he do it Ooh. again? The flick splash down for the third time tonight in this game. Pirates with another and lead. The, the Bears find themselves on Splash Mountain, and they're not enjoying this ride. They're asking for a refund. And Miller Ball all of a sudden is just running away with it. Three and a half left, and we've got five goals in this whole game so far. Can the Bears now answer to just Miller Ball, it seems. Let me look at the stats real quick. Papa, two assists. No surprise there. And a shot. So definitely Miller Ball taking control. Bears in the Pirates half, but Papa's going to try and clear it out. And Bro is going to come up and put that one over. Bro has a chance to follow up. Just misses and Retro Devil is going to really, really regret missing that one. Yeah, great pass off the backboard. I don't think Retro Devil was quite ready for it. How often do you see that? A ball right in front of your own goal that the Pirates are just able to take the other way. You hate to see that. You alluded to Splash Mountain. The uh, the Bears might be stuck in the Briar Patch. <laughs> the Pirates are going to need to raise the sails if they're going to uh, keep this going, though. I feel like the Bears are starting to figure something out. Their rotations are getting a little tighter. And I've seen them there on defense. Uh, and they were clearly there on offense on the other side. So let's see if the Bears can answer. They've got plenty of time. Six goals. We're only halfway through this game, folks. Miller Ball is black flipping. This is more of a 1v1 move. Brokarian says no, and he's got Papa to deal with. This is going to be cleared out. Here's the, one of those pirate clears that we talked about before. Retro Devil's going to have plenty of time to run this up the wall. He forgets to keep the ball with him, no? So this one's going to fall off. And Brokarian's going to come up and clear it off. 
doesn't quite get past Papa, but it doesn't matter. Rokari had a chance to throw it on. Papa doesn't have to save it, but he gets enough of it to give it to Millerball, who's going to put it in and put them up 5-2. to two. And as much as the Bears had pressure, the Pirates just instantly fired back. Yeah, something I've noticed, the Pirates, they're completely comfortable just sitting back in the back half, the back fourth of the defensive end. Let the Bears come to then, and then they are counting or counterattacking very quickly. So the Pirates not really pressuring at the midfield, not making that midfield cut and pressuring the ball, just letting the ball come to them and then attacking when they have the opportunity. Good job there by Miller Ball to do exactly what I said he wasn't doing. Uh, but the Pirates finding a lot of success early. Absolutely. What can the Bears do? They need to figure it out quick. I definitely think that they need to either rotate slightly more loosely when they're on offense or rotate quicker. Because right now, the Pirates are capitalizing on every mistake they're making. Retro Devil now dribbling past Miller Ball and Kenneth Tupapa. And he's going to put this one mid. He just misses hitting it again. And Miller Ball is going to be able to clear this out. And again, the Bears with another opportunity that they're not going to be able to capitalize on. What a backflip from Bokarian to keep this one mid. Retro Devil now the one missing the ball. Retro Devil is going to have to uh, back <laughs> backtrap <laughs> into his own corner. And this is going to be mid. And again, the Bears just not capitalizing on huge opportunities. Here's one more. Hop is going to clear this one out. Yeah, no one told me that October, uh, that it was Halloween Ooh. already, because this game is spooky. That ball going everywhere. Cars flying around, not really getting the touch they want. And so finally, Papa just gets the boomer. Pass Retro Devil and in. So the Bears, much like game one, dominating game two, Kianis to Papa and Miller, just doing a great job. Um, of maintaining possession and not giving the Bears really any quality offensive possessions. Only going to correct the fact that you said the Bears are dominating, and it's actually the Pirates. You uh, got it correct on the second half when you said the Bears a second time, though. The Bears <laughs> just fighting Bears, Bear v. Bear, this week on Fox. Check it out. Kenneth Stupop is going to put this one on. Retro Devil's going to clear it out. By the way, Bears v. Pirates, I would totally watch that show. That is a reality show I would enjoy. Retro Devil's going to put this one on the back wall. Miller Ball's going to come up and try and clear it out. This one's basically over. We're just looking if the Bears can make something happen in the last seconds of this game. And it's not going to happen. Pop is going to even put this one near the other side. May even put it in. Oh, my. Rolling in with two seconds left. Up seven to two, the Pirates three games away from being the only th only the third team this season in the Academy League to win six weeks in a row. Wow, uh, I will remind you, uh, only game two. Only game two. It's only game two. I've been here for two other series teams. <laughs> <laughs> Can't blame you for that. It's where, only game twelve. <laughs> where is our statisticians when we need them? Uh, I will say 12 shots on that. Oh my god. The goodness. statistics department did tell us the Pirates had two slow poke goals in back to back games. You don't see that often. Uh, Kianis uh, Tupapa had one that was 20 miles per hour in this one, Miller Ball had one that was 26 miles per hour. Uh, oh so Pirates god. doing it in a variety of ways and doing it in dominating fashion. 12 shots for the Pirates to the Bears, four. Um, and those, those slow goals is exactly where I'll say the Bears are not getting back around on their rotation fast enough or their rotations are a little too quick on the offensive side when they're on that uh, offensive third, offensive half. Right. On defense, it, I mean, they let in seven goals, but like you say, there were definitely some that were because the Bears were overcommitted. Honestly, when they're on defense, I feel the Bears are fine when they're actually there. Uh, I just like to see them not quite go after as many balls where they're bouncing them into the side wall sure. or just throwing it into the corner or just throwing it into the back wall to try and hit the ball. Get possession. Yeah, I think you are absolutely correct on all accounts, Schwab. Not only are you a great caster, you are also a uh, great Rocket League uh, analyst. So congratulations <laughs> yeah. on all accounts. Uh... uh... You shouldn't lie to people, Zeebs, but I'll accept it because it makes me feel so good inside. Retro Devil's going to come up. 
I really do appreciate it. Here they can, here you go. Here's what the Bears need to do. Put the ball in the hole. How's that for Rocket League analysis, Zeebs? How am I doing on that one? Uh, you can't do much better than that. The most important thing in Rocket League, putting the ball in the net, and that is exactly what Retro Devil has done and doing it in style. I will say all cars on the field, particularly stylish, my good friend Deli would be very impressed. Oh yes, Deli loves a good looking car. And Deli, Deli loves all the weird names. Deli loves a good pun. And I do miss his hammy personality. Brokarian's gonna put this one towards the other side. They're gonna try again. Bear is trying to strike for a second time. They say a never, Bear never strikes twice in the same place. Where's that lightning? I'm not quite sure. I get my murderous things confused sometimes. Miller ball off the ceiling just misses. Papa's gonna keep it mid, and now Retro Devil's gonna have to come up. Miller Ball's gonna have a chance to put this one back towards that, but instead he keeps it mid, then comes it back around on his own ball and hits it back towards the other mid. I feel that was a slightly poor decision to hit it just the, towards the other side. Yeah, now we're going back towards the Bears' side, and this one's gonna be mid. Retro Devil's gonna have to clear it, which he does. Good save. Miller Ball is still trying to get in, and Brokarian finally is going to try and clear this one out. Yeah, Pirates doing everything they can. Miller and Papa just trying to find that hole in the Bears' defense. They're not able to. They're so close. The Bears really have increased their level of attack. They have increased the pressure, which I think is what you have to do when you're playing a team like the Pirates, who have had such good offensive uh, scoring opportunities. The quicker you can get on the ball, the more you're going to limit them. So props to the Bears for doing a much better job here in game three. Absolutely. Pirates are used to attacks, so you definitely have to attack often and surprising. Wakarian missing out to Papa. This is going to be dangerous. Miller ball. Read a book and then came up and hit that one in. Went to Splash Mountain, came back and said he had a good time. Here's my balloon animal and I ate a lot of cotton candy. We're tied one to one. Sounds like a great trip. The Bears were having a tough time keeping that ball out of the defensive end. They were making touches, but they finally, their defenses finally broke the misplay there by the Bears, and Miller was able to take advantage of it. Ooh. Miller way back in the Bears' net. This will be an open goal for Brokarian. I don't know what Miller was doing wrong. I don't wrong know what time. he was there either. I think he went for a bump knowing that Papa was coming up, but I, I'm only assuming uh, but either way, Procarian had an open net to go for. And the only thing that I'll say about what you were saying about the Bears trying to clear it out is they were trying to clear it out from their own corner. Yeah. And in that point, you don't have to rotate into your own corner if the That's ball true. hasn't cleared the goalpost. Wait, give your give your teammate a chance to get back. Like, there's like a 1% chance they can make it from there and it has to be the perfect angle. Just give them time. This one's going to be dangerous. And the Bears say, why are you still talking about us missing something when we're up three to one? Seriously, Bears getting it right back. Brokarian getting the touch at the beginning and the end. Ladies and gentlemen, sign up for Schwa's premium Snapchat account for more Rocket League <laughs> coaching tips because that one deserves a 100 emoji. Great tip. Absolutely. You never know when Bears are going to attack. Shout out to MLE production staff, but they seem to attack when casters are talking crap about them. <laughs> Retro Devil's going to put this one mid. Brokarian's going to come up, have a chance. He's going to come off the post. Ooh. Can he do it again? No. Just tips it off. Should have left it for his teammate on that one. Quick chat tells me he agrees. Retro Devil's going to come up, have a chance to tuck that one in. This one's going to be a chance for Brokarian. But Miller Ball, what a clear. Papa is Retro Devil back. I'm sure he is. He had forever. Papa gave him plenty of time. Miller Ball, Ooh. very dangerous 50 50, but Brokarian got caught on the roof of his car. Can't drive very fast like that. Had to make time to flip. Retro Devil now in a dangerous spot. Ooh, dangerous clear. He gets it. Oh, but oh, where are wow. you guys going? Where? Why? Seems. Seems. Take me All away from this bad say, place. That's the official ZB uh, Balls play of the week. Clip that in the chat. Ball Miller needing a goal at 
that exact moment flying through the air splashed down. I've been waiting to say that the Pirates have seemed a lot more frantic. The Bears have upped the pace of the game, which I think is favoring them. Because if you remember, Miller scored so many of his Ooh. goals. Give me another bottle of balls, because we have to, Ow. we have to <laughs> well, one. Caster <laughs> Curse just like all over the place all of a sudden. Seriously. And Brocaria just going the other way and still up by two. Yeah, Bears showing why, uh, you know, they were one of the top teams in this division. They are, uh, they're certainly coming to play, not letting the first games get under them. But if you remember early, you know what? They're, they're going to score again. Ooh. They do that. They are. The Bears do that. They are off to the races, scoring left and right. Early in the, se in, in the series, Miller was able to score a lot of goals from solo plays, those flicks they got over the defender. Because the Bears have picked up the pace of this play, it's a lot more frantic, Miller hasn't been able to make those solo plays, and I think that's making a big difference here in Game 3. Indeed. The Bears now one minute away from at least stopping the Pirates' chance at six oh. weeks in a row of winning. The Pirates putting some on the net that were really trying to keep it going. 50 seconds left, three goals to make up. Miller ball is gonna push it forward. Little bit of a 50-50 there is going to give him, I don't know where the other bear was, but he came up just in time, I guess. Retro Devil putting it on the other side. 30 seconds left, this one's gonna be gone. Now the Pirates just gonna be looking to win the, uh... sorry, I say that this would be it. They still have plenty of chances. This is not it. I'm sorry, I keep thinking of winning a series as going 5-0. Forgive me, folks. Math. <laughs> Lee Algebra Cow, come back. I'm going to have to start asking Zeebs for math's help, too. Please. And he says 1 plus 1 equals balls. We're on a clip what of the in place of the week. Goal. What a great goal. Really just an excellent goal coming back around off the corner. Yeah, Miller goal trying to do it himself. I do believe... Uh, that is his third goal of the game. Hat trick for Miller for Miller in this one. A little too late. Trying to score with any time remaining. He is on the sidewall, but he is low boost. He's gonna get another touch. Oh, Papa oh coming God. in. There is technically a chance, folks. So you're saying there's a chance. You have to give credit for Miller without the boost. Miller pinching it touch, off of the corner. Two touches. I still can't believe what it. What a goal. Two seconds. Oh, it's going to fall short. Unfortunately, the Bears are going to take that one. Pirates still have two more chances to keep their win streak alive, though. Bears, what a win. And what's interesting, uh, I noticed right before that game ended, is how close these stats are and how funny it awesome. seems when I looked at that and thought the start of the game was clearly the Bears but the end of the game was clearly the Pirates. Yeah. Have the Pirates figured the Bears out? I think the Pirates realized that they had to match the pace of the Bears. Uh, they just started, you know, going uh, all offense all the time. You kind of had to down three goals there at the end. If that game had about 30 more seconds, I think the Pirates would have been able to tie it. They did absolutely dominate the last end there, and the, the Bears... Despite winning that one, they kind of have to be, you know, a little bit sweaty because they certainly know that they stole one there from the Pirates. So this series, Pirates 2, Bears 1, two more games to be played. And Schwa, I think we are going to be very entertained in these final two. I think so. This is definitely very close, and both teams seem to want it. Love to see it go 2-2 so we get a really exciting game five. That's just the caster in me loving the caster in you. Absolutely. Sometimes you just want to be. In song. <laughs> sometimes you just want to be entertained in the casting booth. The viewers from the previous series will know that the Outlaws took four games uh, from the Rhinos. So Bears and Pirates are looking uh, to get as many wins as they can here to keep pace with them. Uh, but from what I understand, both teams in the wild card race as well. Regardless, as they say. Just win, baby. Yeah. Just get some, get some Ws. You're right. Yeah. Score more than the other team. Make the ball go in the thing that makes the splash zone, as Miller Ball wants to do most of the time. Retro <laughs> Devil's going to push this one up, and Papa's going to clear it out. 
Bears is going to come back, and we're just going to be stuck in the corner for a second. Bears smartly giving Papa time to clear it so that they can get a better hit towards the net. Retro Devil going for something he didn't really need to. Miller wasn't going for that. Oh, there's three people going for that one. And Pop, I don't know where Devil came from. He was off my screen, but I'm impressed because <laughs> he had double committed right before that. Volkarian. Oh. B. Miller Ball is going to win now, and he's got a chance to put this one in. He's going to slip it in the net. Bears are going to score first. Miller was trying to predict. No, sorry, it was Papa who was trying to predict where that ball was going. He thought it was going high on the wall. Brokarian, he read it all the way. He knew, he knew that was going to squirt out to the right. And he got gave the Bears an early lead. I believe the Bears got an early goal in game three as well and took the you victory. So this is a good start for the Bears and their fans. Off to the races. Oh. Brokarian is going to oh. get the demo, but not the goal that he was looking for. Rokarian, too much Miller ball, not enough ball ball. Now, Retro Devil's going to have to try and clear this one out. Coming up, it's going to come back towards Rokarian kind of dangerously, but he hits it. And Miller ball goes for a, sh a hit that I'm going to question, and yet it worked out for about a half a second. I think he was going Papa with the big bump, and Rokarian with the big hit to put it past Miller ball. Brokarian high IQ play. They always say, put it where the defender isn't. Miller Ball was sitting on the left post, frozen on his heels. Brokarian found the open net for his second goal of this game. 90 seconds in and Bears looking like they want to control this game and find a way to win this series. Absolutely. And uh, he was definitely not only on the wrong side of the goal, he was facing the wrong side. Half the goal towards the side he wasn't facing. Mm -hmm. Always uh, something that is not good when you're about to try to save Papa. Going up for that one, though. And then Retro Devil's going to help him. Brokarian coming uh -huh. out to try and put it on. Just hits it with his front wheels. Gets it too soft. And it's going to fall short. Yeah, Pirates doing everything they can to clear this ball away from their net and out of their defensive zone. They finally do. Miller with the touch. Where's Papa? He nearly Whoa. gets there. But Brokarian there first. Miller backflips. Oh. oh, that does not feel great. Touches it straight up. Who's going to have this next touch? It's Miller. Where are the Bears? Miller is going to score. This where are the Bears? Zeebs, where are yes. the Bears? Uh, the Bears, the Bears Real talk. have their hands stuck in the honeypot. They do, absolutely, up a little too far. And this is the, the chaotic back and forth that I love about the Academy League, that uh, any miss can be a great uh, thing for the other team or just turn into something uh, that seems like pure luck uh, and some team makes something of it. I love the chaotic back and forth. It's Certain. excellent. So far, the Bears still up by one. Miller Ball is going to put this one mid, effectively so. And what a 50-50 in his own net from Retro Devil. Now Brokarian's going to put it mid, but Papa says Papa's got a brand new bag and it's not your shot. Retro Devil's going to go the other way. Miller Ball is going to come up. Retro Devil, what a 50-50 again in the corner. This score. one's on. It's got a chance. Papa doesn't clear it. It's going to go in. Uh, I think Papa definitely had a chance to clear that one away, so he is going to regret that one. Retro Devil winning the 50, the best type of 50 that goes on. Papa dodging straight into the ball. The first two goals from the Bears were a result of them being aggressive, having two players up on the offensive half, cutting rotation. It worked for them. It cost them when the Pirates got their goal as they were able to counter the Bears' pressure. It's, it, it's definitely a balancing act. The, if the Bears can manage the offensive pressure, it cost them there. Bad touch oh. off the post, though, for oh. Miller. He might be able to follow That's no first goal, and there it is. So as I was speaking, the Pirates proved me right. The Bears' aggression leading to goals, but then also leading to quick counters for the Pirates. Absolutely. Yeah. So yes. it, it is a balancing act. It's an act of saying, okay, I'm going to move up. I know that my teammate can't get back, um, but I see that the other team has no chance of doing anything dangerous. Right. And that's a time where it's like pushing up is fine. Like over committing is fine. Uh, on this last one, Brokarian 
got caught going for a ball he had no chance of saving in the first right. place. He was mm. never going to get that save, whether it hit the post or not. He should have waited. He should have realized, I can't hit that ball. I'm going to opt for the off chance it doesn't go in. Oh. If he'd done oh. that, the Bears wouldn't be down <laughs> up by one. What? what is going on, folks? <laughs> There's your play of the week. Clip that. Oh, Retro no. Devil comes in, saves it. It's going the other way. Brokari's going to put it in. Bears are up by two. If the playoffs come down to a situation where the Bears get in and the Pirates don't, <laughs> this moment will never be lived That moment out. will... That moment will haunt to, them to the like an old server. dead pirate oh hanging on to his treasure chest. Uh, that moment will indeed haunt them. We are that was to, rough. Uh, I, we are going to chalk that up to just miscommunication. Pop is going to put one in while we're chatting, by the way. Uh, <laughs> pirates have pulled within one. I didn't mean to cut you off, Zeebs. You go ahead. No, you're fine. I'm just saying pirates <laughs> are back, baby. Uh, they. What I like. Many teams would maybe just shut down after that one, uh, but they didn't. They were able to score a goal immediately, uh, and they might get another one here. Miller ball going to do Miller things. Papa's backwards, but he gets a nice bicycle flick. Wow, I'd love to see that. 40 seconds remaining. Pirates, I wouldn't be surprised if they get another one here. I, I wouldn't be surprised at all. They have a chance right now. Brokarian doing bro things. He's in a bromance with that save. He's going to put it forward. Retro Devil's going to come out. Oh. Papa coming out of nowhere. Brokarian going to have to do something. He does. He's going to go the other way. He's going to have a chance to put it on, but Miller Ball denies. Retro Devil's going to keep it in the corner. Brokarian hit, going for something he shouldn't be. Miller Ball's going to have plenty of time to clear oh, this yes. out. He's going to get a flick on. Brokarian has Great to get save. back around. Guess what? He does. Miller Ball is up again. Mm. Over Brokarian. It's off the backboard. Papa has a chance. It's over. It's just off the crossbar. Where is Miller Ball? He's right there. The clock is going to run out, and the Bears are going to take game four. What an end to that game. Schwa, I've casted many Rocket League games. That might have been the most entertaining one I have ever been a part of. There are two things I want to talk about. I need my heart med medication, so you talk about whatever you want. <laughs> Thank you. Take your time, my friend. The first thing was that, that, that nutty moment where the Pirates were about to score, and they did it, and I have a theory. We will have to talk to them in the post-game interview. I think the Pirates, I don't know how, got confused about whose goal was who. and Because it kind of looked like they were almost playing defense on their own goal, and they weren't sure if they were to put it in or not. Crazy theory, but that's the only way you're going to explain that one. The second one was in the last 10 seconds of the game. We talked so much about Miller's ability for those solo plays. There were two players between he and the goal. He went... For the shot i thought he was going to do the smart thing pass it to his teammate who could bury it home he, did not. Yep. <laughs> he didn't uh and sometimes you have to look for those plays rocket league very much a team play and schwa we are getting what you ask for two two are into game five two two pirates fighting to be the third team in the academy league this season to get six in a row wow and just absolutely impressive and a, a great observation from what Miller Ball did uh, and a great point because when I saw his flick, I honestly thought he was fine. His flick looked amazing and it just went slightly too high, but you're completely correct. His teammate was open and right there. Mm -hmm. well, open in that um, Brokarian was in front of Miller Ball and Retro Devil was rotating back. Mm -hmm. So there was the left side of the goal open. Um, just a, a poor chance, a poor choice from the Pirates. But definitely the, the play before that, even if you don't go over that one, the play before that, uh, <laughs> I, I love the theory. Zeeb's Theories. Check out his blog, Zeeb's Theories. Yeah, it's uh, it's, 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 a, it's, it's mostly a... about ghosts and Rocket League, but it works. <laughs> no, my theory a little bit out there. Uh, but I don't know how you explain that otherwise. So that's what I'm going to I, I will accept your theory just on the basis that earlier I got confused on which side we were on because oh. even though one side is blue, it's a pretty faint blue. And while I say that, Devil's going to go ahead and put it in the correct side of the field and put the Bears up one. It is a faint light blue, and I got confused earlier uh, just looking uh, as a bystander. Sure. One of my favorite plays there, the player dribbling the ball out of the corner and towards the goal, 
Defenders, they want to challenge the ball. They don't always cut off the angle from the wall. So if you can just get a little cheeky touch off the wall to get it around them, it'll bounce up right in front of the goal for your teammate to bury home. So I love that smart play on the pass. Uh, Bears doing good things here, uh, much like Absolutely. they did in games three and four. Uh, so I'm not going to say it, but I know what the chat uh, is fired up for here. Absolutely. Ooh. Miller ball and Papa teaming up to put this one in we are tied one to one all of a sudden what a little touch from papa yeah just a little change up there retro devil in a good spot defensively maybe was low on boost maybe was not expecting uh quite as high of a shot but that st louis arched straight down into the goal so great shot there by papa papa and miller doing a good job to create that scoring opportunity tied 1-1 90 seconds into this one absolutely Shout out to Twitch chat, who, uh, well, I'm going to try to shout out to Twitch chat. Miller Ball is going to interrupt me. I've got wet. I'm going to have to change my clothes now because he has splashed down. Yes, he has. Unfortunate touch there on defense by the Bears. Tried to touch it into the wall, but instead touched it right to the middle of the field. And you can't give a player like Miller those opportunities. He certainly takes those. And he oh, takes this 50. He has the Oh, my goodness. What a hit. Back to back goals, just seconds to, uh, between them, and the Pirates take a commanding 3 1 lead. And I feel like um, Twitch chat curse uh, is, is on now. Oh, sure. Because I was about to shout out to Twitch. You may have heard me say, shout out to Twitch chat. I did. Uh, shout out to Twitch chat. You know, good job on the Bears really for getting those two games at first and adjusting mid series. Yeah, they I have. would have agreed with you about 30 seconds ago when I started to say I agreed with you. <laughs> I, I actually do really agree. Mentally speaking, it's great to come back from those first two games and do something. But, oh, man, this right now, they're falling apart, and they need to take a breath, relax, and get back in the rhythm they had before. Maybe this is it. Retro Devil's pushing it up. He's got a chance. Uh, the hole is a bit left there, Retro Devil. Don't know if you thought. Maybe if you hit it enough times, you'll uh, wear a hole in it, but it's still not going to get you a goal. Rikarian's going to go against Miller Ball, and he's going to keep it mid, but Papa's going to put it back on. You know Miller Ball's going to be coming up. He's somewhere. He's right there. He's going to put it back mid. Retro Devil's going to keep it out, and Rikarian's going to have to clear it out from in front of Papa. What a clear from Great Rikarian, touch. who now puts it on. Rikarian oh, has a chance. Oh. Devil has a chance. This is going to be... Just repeating the Pirates miss of the last game, and now we're going the other way all of a sudden. Absolutely. Just crazy opportunities there. What a does Oh, Miller. what? Miller is putting the Pirates on his back. He is the commander. He is the captain now. And he is giving the Pirates a three-goal lead earlier. The Bears had a couple opportunities on one. The ball is traveling very quickly, and those balls reading them off the back wall are very difficult. One, that ball was just sitting there, and they couldn't get it quite fast enough. And then there's Miller just getting in front of the goal to 50 that one and force it home. Bears are in a little bit of a predicament, needing three goals in the next two minutes. Definitely hard reading those balls, unless you're drinking Balls Guarana. Those cans are easy to read and fun to drink, tasty as well. Balls Guarana, have some. Subscribe to MLE. Pop is going to put this one on. Miller is going to clear it out towards his own side. Unfortunately, unlucky touch there. A Bears player did hit it into him. Brokarian is going to keep it up there. Retro Devil just getting a piece of it off his bumper. Miller Ball is going to have plenty of time to clear this one out, though. Now Bears just having to rotate back. They There's don't need the to be going for this yet. They are already going for it, and I'm not sure why. Brokarian finally is going to get it up. Pirates definitely had a chance. Why are you going for this? Why are you going for that? You don't have to go for that. Brokarian's going to have to clear it, and this is going the other way. They're getting lucky right now. Brokarian's going to have to come up. This is not lucky, though. This is going to go the other way. And Retro Devil going to have to clear it out. And finally, maybe they're out of danger now. Right about now. Yeah, maybe not, maybe so. I have to give credit in this game to Miller Ball. He is always the first one to the ball. There he is again. He's playing at a faster level than anyone else on the field. 
any ball that goes up in the air, he is the first to it. He got the dribble there, but then got bumped. He's going to have the boost to get up to this one. Oh. He couldn't get quite behind it. There's Procarian for the save, but Miller Ball is going to be the one uh, that is going to lead the Pirates to this victory in this game and in the series. They're going to win six weeks in a row, third team in the Academy League to do it. And really, at the end of this game, the Bears just going for balls on their side they didn't need to go for. Oh. Should have waited. Papa now defending better than the Bears have. Brokarian's going to put it towards the Pirate side. This one's going to fall soon. We're going to be done. Miller ball is going to put it up. Maybe one more goal for Miller. No, it's nice. going to fall. Pirates are going to win 4-1. to one. And really, the Bears just <clears throat> continually leaving their goal and a good defensive position to attack a ball in the corner that they had no interest or need in attacking. And that killed them in the last minute and a half of that game. Yeah, it really did. And I don't know what the Bears could have done to stop Miller. Papa obviously got involved, had two of those assists as well. But it was Miller totally in control of that final game. Uh, he is my MVP of this game and this series, just what he was able to do. Uh, getting a lot of shots in that one, creating scoring opportunities and preventing the Bears from having scoring opportunities of their own. So there you have it. The Pirates coming out on top. Uh, they will still trail the Bears in the standings. The Bears take themselves to 26 wins. The Pirates have 25 and the Outlaws on top with 28. So that Sun Division in the Academy League, absolutely very stacked. close. <laughs> Yeah, no, very stuck. And unfortunately, in the middle of the league standings for the Academy League, but definitely the Sun League uh, has, the last week's going to be huge for the Sun League to figure out who is going to go into the playoffs. Um, and now, folks, did you enjoy that MLE action? You should have. That was amazing last <laughs> series. If you didn't enjoy that, I don't know what you could enjoy. MLE, subscribe, follow, and also... You can join. Did you know you can join? Go to mlesports.gg or follow the instructions in the chat. Become a great part of this great community. Love Folks, community. I've been Schwa. He's been Zeebs. Zeebs, final thoughts? Uh, I cannot wait. I, the first thing I'm going to do is going to go back and watch that crazy moment. Try to figure out what happened there in uh, game four. Absolutely. Thank you, folks. Have a good weekend, and we will see you next weekend on MLE Sports. See you. Peace.